behind the curtain. That's exactly what I do. I'm going to try and do it in one. No, oh, yeah. never. I'm not. I would maybe more, more chance if I was on my own, but also there's stuff down here, so probably not. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Primark haul. It's been a minute since I actually did a haul. Usually I just do uh, shop with me stuff and I don't actually tend to buy a lot of things when I do those videos, but I went back today and I picked up some stuff that I've seen. I mean, to be fair, there were some things that I hadn't actually managed to buy and I should have bought them when I saw them when I was filming before. That was annoying, but I did pick up some other things. One of the things I went specifically for was the niacinamide serum. Um, they still don't have any stock, which is annoying, but they did have, they had an eye gel, which I'm not really interested in, but I got the sheet mask because I have had some really weird breakouts recently and niacinamide seems to be the one thing that kind of soothes everything, reduces the redness and really helps to get rid of those breakouts. So I got a couple of the sheet masks just because I can't find the actual serum, which is super annoying. Um, some cotton pads because always good to get them when you see them. Um, I got some new gloves. I've never seen this colour combination before. They're only a pound Primark gloves. I always have them kind of lying around. Um, but I thought that this colourway was really nice. The only issue with these versus the other ones that I've got is they don't have those um, like tech pieces. You know those gloves that you can, where well, you can still use your phone. But I really like the colours. It's cute. It's cute. It goes with a lot of um, my like, coats and stuff. Um, oh, another kind of vaguely beauty thing that I got was this back cloth made with charcoal. Okay, I'm gonna open it now because I kinda wanna see for myself how this is inside. I'm hoping it's just one piece of material that you hold one end and the other. Yeah, it is. Oh, I don't know yet. Oh, super stretchy. So like this, like this. I get quite um, rough skin on my back. I've talked about this a bunch, but I used to have acne on my chest, my arms and my back. And it was something that really bothered me. And so as an adult, I'll use stuff like this and I'll use glycolic acid sprays um, to try and keep that as smooth and blemish free as possible. And I thought this was really cool. And also, I feel like this is gonna be a way nicer product for this kind of thing. Cause I've got other ones that are supposed to do similar things, you know, like those beige, um, like loofah style things. And I've had ones that are like nylon that are amazingly scrubby, but a bit gross after a while. This feels like something you can probably throw in the washing machine. So I'll keep you posted. And um, the other little accessory type thing that I got was these dinner candles. I bought them because they were super cute, but also they go with my dining room theme. The only problem I've got with candles is my candlesticks are um, super old vintage ones that apparently my great granddad made. Um, my dad said, that they were your granddad's candlesticks. I was like, oh, that's nice, like a piece of family history. No, he actually made the candlesticks. Um, they don't have those little prongs on the inside, so you have to melt some wax, stick it on, that's fine. Not one candle of any height has ever managed to stay on this thing. I light it, it almost immediately falls off. So that's annoying. But these were £1.50. If I can even just manage to keep them on and just like have them on the side, never lit, if they'll manage to actually stay on the candlestick, that's a win. Um, I did buy, wouldn't usually show you my underwear, but I did buy these. I really like this particular set. I've got this in a ton of different colours and I thought since it was Christmas, red was seasonally appropriate. Um, and they're only six pounds. They're super stretchy, really, really comfy. They do loads of different versions of the bras and the pants. Some have got like a full brief, um, but this is the variation that I like the most. It's just really, really comfortable to wear like underneath things, whether you're going out or not. Even if I'm just wearing like joggers and a jumper inside, it's like, it's not annoying to wear. So I just bought a festive set, it felt right. If you watched my last Primark shop with me, you will know I saw this and I was like, am I gonna regret not buying it? Yes, was the answer. Eight pounds, festive, but super colorful. Um, and I was really glad to see that they still had a ton of stock of this. Um, I'm gonna try and get it all apart to actually show you it on. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so warm. This jumper, by the way, Tesco, 25% off um, F and F at the moment, F and F. So cute. I love it. I feel like I had bedding in this exact check print when I was a teenager. So happy with that. Not colours I'm always usually wear, like the super bright purples and stuff, but I liked it for this. Um, more my scene is this. I bought this specifically because I'm going into the office this week and I'm going to wear my favourite wide leg um, camel trousers that are from Vinted. 
uh, or rather next by way of vintage. And I thought, I don't know what I'm gonna wear with it because I don't wanna wear something really bulky and be super warm. And I saw this that I thought would go really nicely. It was eight pounds um, and it's kind of cropped. So the, the legs, the legs, the wide leg trousers are high waist. So although this is cropped, it'll kind of meet where the trousers hit my waist. Um, and I think this is gonna be a nice complementary color to those trousers. Quick future clip, I'm actually wearing the, um, I was gonna say vest, it's not a vest, is it? A cardigan. Now, I really like this. This came in a few different colors and I think I'm gonna go back for some more because it fits really nicely. It's just kind of the right length as well um, and really, really comfortable as well. Just kind of like a thin uh, knit. And I just kind of, everything about it, I really like it. Kind of feel, feels a bit h and -y. Um, I took back the Snoopy sweatshirt. I got a belt fully because that's the one thing he asked me to get while I was there. I also got him a Hellfire t-shirt because last time we were there, he said if he had found one in his size, he uh, would have had one. So I bought him this. These are 10 pounds. Last time I was there, I also got one for my sister-in-law and they've definitely restocked because they only had a few sizes last time. Last time, the double tick of the day. Um, but I would say, I, I haven't had him try it on yet, but he's a small and I got him extra small because I think they're quite wide. I think these are, the fit of these are quite wide. So don't take my word for that yet. I'll wait until he's actually tried it on and I'll, I'll let you know in a vlog. Um, but that's the one I got for him. Last thing I think is this. And the reason I bought it is because I'm with Emma today and we thought it would be cute to have a picture in matching something. We were gonna do matching pajamas and we couldn't find any matching pajamas that we both liked, that we could find in our sizes, but we could find in the men's section this sweatshirt Men's sweatshirts and t-shirts in Primark, by the way, if you never look in that section, you absolutely should because it, they've got some really, really cool stuff. A lot of it's nicer quality than the women's stuff. Um, the size ranges are better and uh, especially the t-shirts in the summertime, stuff to wear over leggings or bike shorts. I really like it for that. Uh, so the sweatshirt, it feels quite soft actually and it's just like a Peanuts Snoopy one, which is pretty cute. I took back the Snoopy sweatshirt because once I tried it on, it was weird, and obviously it was men's, but it was weirdly kind of boxy in the shoulders and wide up here, and then really quite narrow in the hips. And I'm narrow in the hips, so that was really, really strange. Wasn't into it. I just went back to Primark to take that back. Also, um, I swapped the Stranger Things um, T-shirt that I got for Lee. I swapped that for a larger size because in store, they looked really wide, and I decided to get him a smaller size, but ended up being too small in the arms. So anyway, I took the Snoopy sweatshirt back and I actually got this instead, which I really like. Completely different shape. This is like shorter, wider, just kind of more my thing. Really liked this one. I think it was 10 pounds and the Snoopy one was 12. So bargain. Anyway, I'm gonna send you back to me hauling the rest of the stuff now. And I'm gonna take off my makeup, put this on now, wear my nice cinemide mask, and we're gonna watch a Christmas film. So thank you for joining me. I will leave some links to some other recent- My camera cut out literally at the end of that video. So hopefully I was saying thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will leave you some links to other videos that you might enjoy in the description. And I am vlogging every single day in December. So come and join me over on my vlog channel if you are into that kind of thing. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.